Hey guys, welcome back to Program Hub and today in this episode we're gonna talk about the new MacBook Pros with the 512GB of storage as well as with 1TB of in storage. So should you consider upgrading that 512GB to 1TB? So I would be purposely talking about this because there had been a lot of questions people had been asking like what should be the storage, what is, would be an optimal storage into a machine. So let's talk about it. So guys, before we even start talking about the new MacBooks, I would like to talk about my experience previously what I had with the MacBooks. So previous to this, I have used two MacBooks. One was a MacBook Pro 2018 model with a core i7 processor and 256GB of in storage. And the next one was a MacBook Air 2020 model with an 256GB of in storage. So guys, both of the machine came along 256GB of in storage. And I purposely use a lot of applications, different environment settings. For example, I use Xcode, Android, then also we use VS Code and many other development softwares. Along with that, we also use some creative softwares for video editing, graphic designing and many other things. So guys, we've been using the 256GB fund storage for all the applications and it served really well. And when I talk about the storage, so in that point of time, I do not consider a lot of storage for the files. because I purposely don't use the internal storage for storing the files so definitely I am not storing a lot of projects or not a lot of files into my laptop because I don't consider that as a safe way of storing the files because if at any moment of time anything happens to my laptop I would be losing that data. So to make sure that my data is safe I am continuously transfer the files to an external hard drive that we have. So that's the one reason why i don't consider a lot of storage into my macbooks and now when we purchase the new macbook pro with the m1 pro processor that comes within 512 gigabytes of in storage that is the base variant for all the macbooks right now for 14 inch and 16 inch so whether you purchase the 16 inch or the 14 inch model no matter what you purchase all the models come within 512 gigabytes of in storage at least so no matter for what purpose you use it that would be in pretty much efficient storage for all the users because i have been using a lot of applications and for me it serves really well and specifically if i talk about like you and me like if you are just a normal person or also we can say a video editor or a programmer so you won't be needing more storage than 512 gigabytes that's a pretty efficient storage for now and if you're a content creator who's continuously on to and move and you need a laptop that can store a lot of amount of files and also projects so at that moment of time when you don't have an access to an external ssd or storage so at that moment of time you should consider upgrading to one terabytes otherwise there's no need to upgrade to a one terabyte version and specifically if i talk about myself i do not consider that either so guys this had been my complete perspective about this topic because there had been many questions who asked us like whether this storage would be efficient enough or will be really reliable enough for our use or not. So this is really reliable enough and efficient so there is no need to upgrade the storage to an one terabyte until unless you are not going to use it for a large number of projects or you are continuously on to and move and you would be needing that much amount of storage. So I don't consider that as an upgradation part for this. So guys, if you have got any more questions, please leave that down into the comment section below. We'll be happy to read that and reply to you. If you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.